Hey, MZROY Nation, Jason here. We're still in mock checkride May, and I'm gonna be sharing with you today a document I made probably six or seven years ago, but it's still just as relevant today. It's called the Checkride Blueprint. And literally, as you're a month to even two weeks away from your checkride, I want you to sit down. I'll go over the document with you. We're going to go line by line. And it's a checklist of things to make sure you have or you have done before the actual checkride. As far as how to dress, this is not how to dress. This is casual Friday today. It's one of the rare days you see me without a button down shirt on. But you don't want to dress like this is my point. We, we talk about everything in there though, inside the checkride blueprint. So enough of me talking, let's cut over to my computer screen now and let me explain it really line by line for you guys. So this is the checkride blueprint I was talking about. Again, there'll be a link to this PDF uh, in the description of the video. Uh, and it kind of takes you through. Let me, I just want to take you through here real quick. And again, uh, it's a little bit older. There's some uh, older kind of verbiage um, in here as well, but it, it all still, still works the same. Current. Do we have a current sectional chart? And that can be paper, that can be the iPad. Do we have, it used to be an AFD, now it's a US chart supplement. Again, that can be on the iPad, that's fine. Written test, knowledge test, past and current. Far aim, do I have a current far aim there as well? Next, for the oral exam. Again, I know it says know the practical test standards. We're talking ACS now. But for the oral exam, remember back in the PTS days, we used to have a thing called special emphasis areas. A lot of those have been encompassed now, but do we know and understand all these areas? Because just because we're working with the ACS now, these are still all hit on. So do we know and understand each of these? Answer confidently. If we don't know, say we don't know. And again, know your limitations as a private pilot or a light sport pilot or whatever you're actually ending up to pursue. I told you I'd share even how to dress, dress professional. Don't dress how I was dressing as you saw earlier in this video here. Be professional. I always say uh, like you're going out to the golf course. That's how you should dress. Comfy polo, comfy slacks, what, whatever that may be uh, for you. No flip flops, nothing like that that we wanna be professional. Aviation is a professional career. Don't forget your E6B, a hood or foggles, and I always teach bring every book that you own that's aviation related, uh, of course, here. All right, over to the logbook. Do I have all my endorsements? Your CFI should have helped you with this. You shouldn't have to sweat this. This you should sweat though. Does my logbook add up correctly? And do I have the hourly requirements all met? For the actual cross country, you can see a lot of these things are actually attached to the arrows here as well. But for the cross country, am I using current weather? Is it fully planned? When I say fully planned, I mean a weight and balance. A smart thing to do is always ask the checkride examiner how much he or she weighs weeks in advance. Do you know your course heading, your fuel burn, your time and route, and a backup route as well? And most importantly, can you explain how you came to each number? It's not good enough to just say four flight did it for me. Can you explain how you came to each number? Then 8710 form, this is all done electronically now. Everything's going through IACRA. I still teach, call me a little neurotic here. We'll do the 8710 form through IACRA and that final application, I still print it out just to have a copy of it in case the internet's acting up or something like that. The actual flight. Remember, you're only gonna fly part of your cross country, usually to the first checkpoint. So keep that in mind, this loops back up to here, knowing your course heading, know your course heading to where you're going, know your course heading to any possible diversion points as well. Takeoffs and landings, short field, soft field, emergency, no flap, have you practiced these recently? The flight maneuver, slow flight, stall, steep turns, ground reference maneuvers. Big note here, be ready to do all or most of your maneuvers under the hood. Obviously it doesn't include ground reference maneuvers, but When's the last time you did slow flight under the hood? Stalls under the hood, steep turns under the hood? It might have been a while. That's fair game on even a private pilot check ride. And lastly, our emergency, emergency procedures. Engine out, engine fire, electrical fire. These are really the three that you need to know absolutely cold. It's not consulting a checklist. You need to have a flow check for these. So Missouri Nation, there you have it, the Checkride Blueprint. That is all available in the comment section or in the video description as well if you wish to download that as a PDF so you have a copy as well. Let me know what you think and most importantly, let me know how you did on your Checkride. That's what we're so excited to hear about. Enjoy the rest of your day and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. Take a two-week free trial of our online ground school and see why Aviation Consumer Magazine named it the top online ground school on the market. The first thing you'll notice is that we never teach to the test. 
We teach real world skills that are gonna keep you and your loved ones safe when you fly. Now it's because of this real world teaching, you'll pass your knowledge test and your check ride with flying colors. With one membership, you get access to all our courses, plus weekly webinars with myself and this outstanding M0A.com team. It's really like an interactive TV show broadcast from our studio, where you get to interact with a team of CFIs. We also offer live support and email support to make sure you succeed. Now, one thing you'll notice is that M0A is like nothing else on the market. It is truly a flight training community geared towards making you a safer, smarter pilot because a good pilot is always learning. It's much more than a slogan for us. It is truly a mission. So click below and take a two week, no strings attached trial of our top rated private instrument, commercial and FOI courses. Once you join our flight training community, I promise you will never want to leave.